Welcome to HappyTricksters.com's video cast. And if you have any questions, please email me at techfan5 at hotmail.com. This is going to be an advanced Visual Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to program a simple operating system. The requirements for this tutorial is a Windows operating system, enough RAM to allocate to a virtual machine, or the ability to boot from a CD slash USB drive. The software requirements are either Visual Studio 2008 or Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. And it will also be very nice if you have a virtual emulator such as Virtual PC, GIMO, or VMware, and some CD burning software. The other knowledge requirements are advanced knowledge of the Visual C Sharp programming language, some knowledge of how operating systems work, and some hardware knowledge. And the other requirements are some CDs and some USB flash drives. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a web browser and navigate to coplex.com slash cosmos. And from here, select download now and run the installation file. And what it will basically do is create a template for either Visual Studio 2008 or Visual C Sharp Express Edition. Now once the installation is done, open up your IDE, select new, and select project. And from here, under C Sharp, select Cosmo Boot. And the same instructions are for the Express Edition of C Sharp. And click OK after naming the, the project. And let Visual Studio do its work. Now under the Solution Explorer, select Program.cs. And as you see, you'll see this code pop up. And if you're an advanced C Sharp user, you probably you might understand quite a bit of this and basically you're going to want to ignore all this part right here that's just the kernel doing its doing its job and loading the operating system and as you probably understand by now I'm using an open source kernel Cosmos stands for the C sharp open source managed operating system and the kernel is open source to show you how to create a kernel from scratch would take a longer time than I have. But for a programmer, you're going to want to concentrate on this part right here, the main. And for, for those kernel developers out there, I personally don't develop kernels. There is some, some programming packs at the Cosmos website that will help you out on that if you're interested in programming kernels. So actually, this this is ex this right here is what will happen when you boot your operating system, and as you see, it's a simple DOS input output operating system, and there's no graphical user interface. And this is what will happen right now. This is what it says default. Cre congratulations, you boot C sharp code. And a program to see has to create your own operating system. Press the key to shut down. Now, these two parts right here. It doesn't matter, you can get rid of them, but keep these two lines right here because that's just the shutdown. The well these three lines. And and keep the console dot clear. Because when the when the kernel boots up it will have some code written there and you probably want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to delete this line right here. Again, you can do whatever you want. And here, I'm going to just say hello world. I said that you need advanced C sharp knowledge for this tutorial. And it looks like that this is very simple, what I'm doing right now. I'm just writing some lines to the console. But as you develop more advanced operating systems, you're going to need some really advanced C sharp knowledge. So select start debugging once you've developed your operating system. And what Start Debugging will do is it will launch the Cosmos compiler. And you'll see this window pop up. And now for Target, you're going to select how you want to build your operating system. You can select to use a virtual machine emulator such as GIMO, VMware, or Virtual PC. Or you can do a native boot with an ISO, burn it to a CD and boot from it. Or you can even put it on a USB device or a network or virtual hard drive. You can select which, which NT framework to use. 
and you can change some settings with the Cosmos debugger and a lot of other stuff. Unless you know what you're doing, I suggest I suggest you don't tamper with anything but the target. Now, I ha what I'm how I'm going to show this is I'm going to use virtual PC. When I tried to and selected this and, and build it the operating system, I got some errors. So I think there might be a bug with that. But I know it works with Gimo, and it's, I think it works with VMware. But just to show you, I'm going to create an ISO image of the operating system. I'm going to just mount that to my virtual machine and, and boot from it. So select build. And what it basically is going to do, it's going to co convert the C-sharp program language to intermediate language. And then it's going to use the intermediate language to create the, assemb the assembly for your operating system. Once everything is finished, the application will quit, and you no longer need Visual Studio. And what has happened is it has created an ISO image. And unfortunately, the ISO image is located in a hidden folder, so you're either going to have to use the command prompt or Internet Explorer to, to get to the folder and get to the ISO image. So under a command prompt, you're going to type in CD app data. And from here, you're going to type in CD roaming. And from here, you're going to type in CD Cosmos user kit. And from here, you're going to use the copy command to copy the Cosmos iso. Type a space. And then type in C colon backslash and Cosmos dot ISO in order to copy the ISO from the hidden folders to the root of your C drive. Click enter and you should see one file copied. Now you're done with the command prompt. And now go to where you save the file. Yeah, and if you follow this tutorial, it was saved to the root of my C drive. Now I'm going to just drag this to an easier place to access the ISO image. And I had a cosmos.iso there before because I was messing around with a previous build that I was using. Now from here, you're going to want to either burn that to a CD and do a native boot from it, which would require sending your BIOS to boot from a CD, or you're going to want to load it into a virtual machine. For this example, I'm going to use the Microsoft Virtual PC. I'm going to select CD capture ISO image. I'm going to select the cosmos.iso, open and action and control delete to restart the operating system. From here you're going to see the kernel load up and you're going to see your operating system which displays hello world and press the key to shut down. So this was a tutorial on creating a simple operating system and for more tutorials Please go to happytricks.weebly.com.